I mean, I can give these people a hard time all I want, but as long as all of these people that do this primal diet are more muscular than I am, then what does it matter? So first of all, you would have to be extremely disingenuous to say that vegans can build up any muscle. You could be genuous on their behalf and you could say like, well, Goddess has a similar amount of muscle than New Age Fitness. But I think that's even stretching it. And this is not a dick measuring contest. Because if it were, then it would not be a contest. But the thing is, some of these people have good results on a primal diet. And it's not because of the diet. It's because, well, they get enough protein, sure. But it's also because they lift weights. Which is the most important to actually build a muscle. It's not really diet related. It's mostly related to how much you lift. Anyway... These people suffer from cognitive dissonance. They can call the vegan diet a religion all they want. And to some extent I would agree with that. But their diet, some of the people that are in their diet, are just as cultish, are just as brainwashed as the vegans are. They live in a, they live in a bubble. Everything vegan related is bad, everything raw meat related is great. Well, how am I going to argue with that? I can't, because... The way that these people discuss is very similar to what a high school bully does. You can't argue with a high school bully, because a high school bully doesn't want good arguments. A high school bully just wants to scream very loud, and then eventually he hopes that people will agree with him. A guy um, came up to me, and he told me, John Venus was already muscular before going vegan and he has not built up any muscle after he went vegan. The same guy, a sentence later, says all the muscle that he built up during being vegan was from taking steroids. Another sentence later he says he hasn't built up muscle but he got bigger because he got fat. And then again he says it's from steroids and then again he says he never built up any muscle at all. That makes the whole argument very inconsistent. And that's what they want. They don't want to have a consistent argument. This is the whole primal diet in a nutshell. They simply want to discuss to destroy, not to discuss to discuss. So there are a few things that I want to discuss in this video. First of all, there is this idea that you can't build up more muscle the moment you go vegan. And... The, 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 <laughs> the proof that people use for that is uh, YouTube usually. Like, oh, look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. That guy did not get more muscular. And then when someone gets more muscular, then it's of course steroids. The thing is, like, hey, you know, I gained seven pounds of muscle. Obviously not due to creatine use, but whatever. <sighs> Do I look significantly bigger from back then? No, of course not. Because I already gained, what would it be, 30 pounds of muscle before going vegan. So 7 pounds at that point is not a huge difference in how it looks on you. And like most of that weight is added to my legs anyway. And well, you don't really ever see my legs, of course. <sighs> the thing is, um, yeah, I'm gonna discuss that. I'm also going to discuss the fact that Severich himself did not really gain a lot of muscle while doing Raw Primal. If you look at videos from very far back, you can tell that he was already about as muscular as he is today. Probably similar results he probably gained 10 to 15 pounds in the last five years okay fine nothing exceptional nothing that you would um you know it's kind of bad for the ultimate diet you would at least expect that he would gain like 30 pounds but no he didn't he didn't um yeah also i'm just gonna look at a comment someone made uh, just to show how disingenuous these people really are. So this video is almost five years old. And as you can see, he clearly has lifted at this point. Maybe not a lot, 
but the guy is kind of buff at this point. Now, he is a little bit chubby, at least so it seems, I could be wrong on that, but the guy has never been small. Not by a long stretch. Uh, this is far before he did uh, the raw primal diet. Now, this is him five years later. Is the difference that big? Really? Is it? You gotta be honest. And also, like this guy. I mean, is this guy more muscular than I am? Really? I mean, this guy isn't vegan, I can tell you that for sure. It's not a huge difference in the last five years. So, you know, you can call, you can say that he used to be in a, a little emo bitchy kid or whatever. But he has always been like this. It's nothing new. Well, he look uh, much bigger and stronger than you. And I don't think he even live. I don't think you even English. Also keep in mind that all vegans have our weak soy muscles. All right, well, you know, bullshit. Uh, the building blocks and muscles are different, so the muscles are going to be different. It's as simple as that. So actually, you know, Zverev does lift and I lift more than him, which I'm going to show you in a second. So I respond and, um, you know, it's not the nicest comment, absolutely not. Um, but he he's, uh, he responds, of course, with that I'm narcissistic because you know, it's it's something along the lines of like, oh, how dare you to talk back to me? You're a fucking narcissist, you know. I don't know, like this guy might be fourteen. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why you think you're more muscular than him. Well, because I am. When in all this recent video footage and your reasons, he's clearly more muscular. Like, okay, well, I, hold on. So, here are just some Instagram pictures. You know, look how fucking small I am. Look how, like, really? Now, you could say, like, okay, this under good lightning, but, I mean, I, and, and a good angle, sure. But you you really gonna say, like, oh, we clear soy muscles. Really? Like, come on, man. <laughs> and this really goes to show how disingenuous these people are. Look at this. You are just skinny fat. Skinny fat? Not once in my life has anyone considered me fat, let alone be skinny fat. I mean, people have considered me skinny when I was a young kid. And that changed when I was like 16, but come on, like, really? Like, and I'm sitting like this, you know, usually people do look fat at this point. But not me, I got six pack ups, buddy. I'm skinny fat, yes, obviously. Like... How fucking disingenuous can you be? Like, no matter what angle, I'm obviously not fat in any sense of the word. I got a healthy body fat percentage of between 10 to 14%. It depends on, yeah, how much I'm doing. Uh, you better just go keto primal. Why go keto? Keto is fucking retarded. Primal and you will have similar results. What results? Like, haven't you seen the video, dude? Like, uh, well, I clicked it away, but he, ha he doesn't really have that huge of results. I hope that you realize what is natural and good for you. Well, it's not an 80% meat diet, I can say that. For you, stay safe, I'm only trying to help you. What some fucking bullshit, you know? Um, fucking passive-aggressive bullshit, fuck off. I haven't looked at this comment yet. I mean, yeah, you're going to need to prove that you live more than him. No offense, but you're just speaking out of your ass. Well, I'm gonna disprove that to you in a second. To me, his Zverich looks bigger and more muscular. Actually, he's five weight classes heavier than me, yeah? By the way, he is a lot uh, taller. Um, and he weighs about... What is it? I believe a, 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 between... Um, 15 and 20 pounds. No, more than that. 20 and 25 pounds heavier than me. Simply because he's a taller guy. Um, yet I live more than him. Uh, or at least as much as him. You know what they say, if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, quacks like and probably a duck. Well, no. He looks healthier than you. How does he look healthier than me? I mean, the guy has lost 30% of his hair in the last year. Like, what are you talking about? And then, well, you know, I could go in depth in why he doesn't look healthy, but we'll do that in another video. Living in denying and lying to yourself. Oh, look, self-reflection. Won't change those facts. 
You are going to need to adjust your diet into superior keto. Keto is fucking dumb. It breaks down muscle. You fucking idiot. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. But of course you think that you do know what you're talking about. Because you've listened hours upon hours to uh, Aginus and Severic. And they, you know, they, they will of course confirm your uh, biases. Idiot. You can view that as a way to climb up the food chain, lowering yourself to the absolute bottom of the food chain. What did you expect? Oh yeah, like rhinos. Like, you know, those are on the bottom of the food chain. And gorillas, you know, those are kind of on the bottom of the food chain. Let's put you in a cage with a gorilla and a rhino. Let us not forget that you are using supplements from what I gathered watching your videos. That's true, I use creatine. So what about it? Uh, you know, like I said, it has a ceiling, you know, like you gain about fifth, no, 12 pounds at most, and that's it. What are you, what's your point? Oh, and uh, you're not even natural bodybuilder because you use supplements. The supplements are synthesized in the lab. Just like steroids, I think it's fair to take away your natty title too. So, I have bad news for 98% of the bodybuilding slash fitness community. You're all on steroids. You're all not natural because you use protein powders and creatine. Because White Wolf, some 14-year-old kid on the internet has said so. That is in a cult that believes that rape, murder, incest are all A-OK. -okay. Oh, and cannibalism. Cannibalism is also a very natural thing. So yeah, you know, you're all not natural. I'm sorry. Sorry to break it to you like this. Yeah, sucks, doesn't it? So, 15 kilos, 5 kilos, 2.5, 2.5, another 5 kilo there. You can barely see it. And 25 kilos. Um, Yeah. So let's do the math. So that's 15, 20, 25, 30, and so 55 on each end, and the bar weighs 10 kilos. That would be 110. Uh, then there's probably something wrong with my. Um, I, I'm almost 100% certain that it was 110 kilos. Um, it is in the very least 110 kilos, as I've just shown. So I live that. Uh, let's see. Uh, there you go. So uh, let's see. That's 10 kilos. That's 20 kilos. Uh, five, five, two and a half, two and a half. So let's do the math. That's 10, 30, 40. 45, so 90 kilos of plates, and the bar itself weighs 20 kilos. So that's 110 kilos as well. The same amount as me. He is five weight class heavier than me. Um, this is not the most that I've uh, pressed, by the way. I have no f footage of that, um, but I will definitely do that in the future. And he wraps this three times. So he does that more times than me, still being a lot heavier than me. Uh, fine. Uh, you know, again, like being heavier than me, uh, I really have to, um, <laughs> I have to make notes of that. And also like the guy eats 400 grams of protein, is on the perfect diet, and he does something that I've been able to do as well for years now. Now I can do that at the moment because I'm simply doing another program. I'm now more focusing on high volume, but this is nothing special. And this is certainly, uh, especially considering his weight class, it's... It's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not impressive.